Hello everybody. Today is March 16th, 2024 and today Jenny and I we're going to go out and see a St. Patrick's Parade. Tomorrow is actually St. Patrick's but the parade is on Saturday so we're going to go out and check it out. A little foggy out. Alright, come along. Alright, I am Michael and this is Jenny. We're Hello. Michael and Jenny on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And the channel's really growing right now. So uh, to all our new subscribers, thank you so much. All right, Jenny, you ready to go see a parade? Yes. All right, so let's go check out the parade. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, so a little cold outside. I got a short sleeve shirt on. I did not bring a jacket. Jenny told me to bring a jacket. I never listen, but she's always right. All right, let's make our way to the parade. And they have new signs on the streets down here. Boney Fiddle, Jefferson Street. The signs look really good. And we're downtown Portsmouth here. This is Shamrock Tattoo, established 2012. What I noticed is these uh, little bottles in the window. On the windowsill there. And the parade's starting on 5th and Market Street. And this is where we're at right now. We're on Market Street. We have different cafes and different businesses over here. But this is the parade and it looks like they're all lined up getting ready for the parade. Which the parade itself, I believe, starts at 11 o'clock. So we're a little bit early. It's uh, 10 o'clock right now. But we like to get out a little earlier and uh, just walk around a little bit. And businesses are actually decorating for St. Patrick's Day. It seems like everybody gets together and uh, they have a plan and uh, they kind of really make it festive for the community, which is really nice. And here they have some St. Patrick decorations on the door as well. And it's nice to get out on foot and look. And they got some horseshoes there. Look into the windows as you're going. It's very nice. And it is a foggy morning this morning and that is the hillside. You can see a little bit of the hillside. Very picturesque, especially with that little home over there, the big home over there. And then you got the flood walls over there as well. Very beautiful. And we have Irish Kisses and Shamrock Wishes. Got a little hat and a chair there. A lot of St. Patrick decorations going on. And I must admit, it's a little cool out here. Once again, I did not wear a jacket. All right, we decided to go into the visiting center here at Portsmouth uh, to get a little warm, but uh, they still got a little Christmas decoration in the window, very nice. And this is Simon's Sorghum. We have a video on that. Usually I don't say go check out the video or anything, but we're pretty happy with the video that we did on Sorghum. So maybe check that one out for our new subscribers. And the festivities are starting to ramp up a little bit more. Starting to hear some bagpipes. It's 10.30, almost time the time for the parade. 11, scheduled, on scheduled at 11, uh, parade is. Yeah. I think we found our spot. We might change it, but I think we found our spot. <laughs> and I really don't know why, but I like doing stuff like this, especially if I go to like the uh, Paul Brown Stadium, just find a different view of something that you see normally each and every day. So this is underneath a red light which uh, I find interesting. Don't know why, but I do. All right, Jenny's trying to keep me warm with her coat. No, you yeah. wearing jackets. I didn't wear a jacket. All right, so this is the first time that we're actually at the St. Patrick's Day Parade, and this is like a historical event downtown Portsmouth, so we're pretty excited to see what they have to offer. Three minutes. <laughs> All right, three minutes. All right. <laughs> and we got a little bag action going down the road here before the parade. Uh, Even the bag's getting in position to watch the St. Patrick Day Parade. All right, we've been waiting for a little while and the parade is starting now. Getting the police to come out to stop traffic. And they're good old US of A, best country in the world. 
Nice yeah, going down. This is, I believe, a second street here. And that says Port City Pub on the back of the Jeep there. And that says Gibbs Battery L, Portsmouth, Ohio. And they're throwing out candy to the kids. James Dickey Post Marshall. <laughs> and it is very festive parade and everybody is dressed up, throwing out candy, having a good time. And there is the parade official as well. Seven Nation Celtic Club. And that's the Knights of Columbus. And you have the Saudi County Democratic Party coming out, throwing out candy right at our feet. <laughs> Let the kids grab it. <laughs> and we have some dancers coming behind the Chevy truck here with music playing. <laughs> There's a lot of them, ain't it? Yeah. And they keep throwing candy. They come right out of here on this Market Street portion. They just throwing candy. This kid's got a lot of candy already. Really nice of them. And that says Gina Collinsworth. That must be Gina. I'm not really into politics. There, that's Gina. And there appears to be some of the Republican side supporting uh, Jim Jordan there, looks like. Get it. <laughs> All right, so everybody looks to be having a good time, passing out candy. We got a little kid to our left. He is just getting candy left and right because as soon as they come out, they're throwing it out to him. He got the perfect spot. And this says Portsmouth River Days. And one thing I like about Parade is you get to see unique cars. Jenna and I, we like going out and seeing uh, classic cars during the summer. Very fun. And that is Miss Valley, Braxton Hallbrook, 2024. And that is Miss Notre Dame. And this is the South Webster Marching Band. West, McDermott, 2024. 
mean, that is a beautiful car right there. And we got an old time fire truck. Looks to be a Mac fire truck. Engine one. And they keep throwing candy out. And we have Honky Tonk Hissy Fit. Somebody just uh, gave us a flyer here. April 5th, 6th, 12th, and 13th. And we have a pretty cool looking bike coming our way. It's a try of some sort. Check out that. That's cool, yeah. yeah it looks like somebody dropped their candy. Kids are all over it. Yeah, and it says 606 on the bike. And 606, where I'm from, is from Kentucky, so. And they have some bikes coming out a little bit bigger. This is Southern Ohio hillbillies. So uh, they're towing some hillbillies behind the 4x4 four four there. And this is a Sidla County Public Library. Got a little puppet going on there. Got a few puppets coming up from behind here. So we have another flyer here. It says Hardwood Heroes Celebrity Basketball Game. So that seems pretty interesting. That's uh, March 28th. So admission's only $2, it looks like. Very nice to have uh, on the agenda, perhaps. And they got a school bus all decorated up for St. Patrick's Day. And a pretty uh, clever slogan, a new kid in town. I'm going to assume that's uh, his last name, but uh, the new kid in town. And they do uh, loud dogs in the parade, walking right along with their owners. And this car here reminds me of Boss Hog from Dukes of Hazard. so very, very nice vehicle. Love to have that one. And they have another huge fire truck coming along the parade here. And I must say this one is very beautiful in the front. Engine one as well, it says. And this is a uh, Wheeler Volunteer Fire Department. Looks like the uh, parade is coming to an end, and they're ending it with a bang with a live band. And that's the Bony Fiddle Project. And 
got candy left over everywhere on the street. Jenny's picking up a few suckers here. All right, that was a St. Patrick's Parade here in Portsmouth, Ohio. And uh, I really like cars, so when I see a good looking car, I gotta get on film if I can. But uh, had a very good time. I probably should have wore a jacket. I think we're gonna go get something to eat. And uh, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, please subscribe, leave comments, ring the bell, whatever you like to do there. And Jenny, you wanna say bye? Bye bye. Bye bye. All right. Bye -bye. So thank you so much for watching. All right. Bye bye. What's this? All right. So Jenny wanted to show what we got for lunch today. It's a Texas tenderloin. It is huge. We went to the Scioto River, and it's very popular, very famous place here in Portsmouth, Ohio. I'll give you a pickle, tomato. Looks like some mayonnaise as well. So, mm. all right. Big sandwich, isn't it? Yeah. Mhm. Mm and for our St. Patrick parade sweet we got us a sugar cookie and a what cinnamon bun cinnamon bun at market street cafe <laughs> all right so i still wanted something sweet so i went and got me sue. uh kathy sue sweet bakery there i really like uh their sweets there all right so that should do it for the saint patrick's parade day in portsmouth ohio all right take care